teacher. I loved it when he read it. It's probably half the reason why I like this book so much. And it was about World One World War One. Um, let's see here. The next one I have is Madeline L. Engel, A Wrinkle in Time. This is a really good series. It became a movie, but I didn't really like it, but I suppose that's as about as good as you could get during the time it was made. Um, again, it's talking about how really it's not that great to be of the same mind, doing the same things, liking the same things, and that differences should be appreciated. This one is called A Wind in the Door. It's also a really good book. It's where the brother gets sick and you get to travel inside his body and you meet different things and see different things and yeah. Um, this one's called The Two Princesses of Bamar, and it's also very good. Um, it's really simple, but it's fantasy, so I like it. I read that probably in the sixth grade. Um, as we all know, House of Night, I have the Burned book right here. Um, it's really good. Another vampire. You don't burn in the sunlight, so if you don't, if you like to keep to your typical vampire where they burn in the sunlight, don't read this. Also, there's Melissa de la Cruz, and that is also a vampire one. Again, you don't burn in the sunlight, but nonetheless, it's kind of an interesting twist. I'm completely open-minded when it comes to vampires. It, it's an interesting take on it. Um... Then I have The Chronicles of Christomancy, and it's really good. It's where he has nine lives, and he kind of controls and makes sure everything goes okay in the nine worlds. I think it's nine or eight. No, twelve. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've read it. But again, it was really interesting. Um, there's this book called Torment. It's dealing with angels and how... It, they were casted away because they either one made the wrong choice or they didn't make a choice at all but he took it as siding with them at least that's how I interpret it so they got cast to earth and um, it's by Lauren Kate it's a fallen novel it's the second one and then um, I'm going to mystery and that is Iris Johansson she's probably one of my favorites. Um, this is actually one of my favorite books, Storm Cycle, and it's there's a true fact in here about a very powerful computer, and um, if all you have to do is go to this website that's in the back of the book, and you just go up there, sign up, and they what you do is you leave on your computer or your TV or your game systems and the cycles that you'd be you you'd be using when you're playing and when you're not playing it they would go towards the computer to help uh, find research the website I think is let me find it uh, www.distributedcomputing.info and spend a few minutes setting up their systems to contribute cycles to a worthy endeavor. Much of this book, in fact, was written on a computer that fights disease as part of the Compute Against Cancer project. So, um... Oh, wait. Hold on. Did I make a mistake? No. But some of their exciting results can be viewed at http grail.cs.washington.edu slash projects slash mvscpc. And, um, yes, there's um, another book. Um, it starts with a T. I know that doesn't really help. But it's where another topic of interest comes to me, and um, I think it leads to Pompeii, that kind of era, which I also really, really like. Um, short stories, I like them. I also like reading fan fictions. 
uh, to me. It doesn't really matter. The only thing I probably don't do is horror. I like comedy as well. Um, so really, I'm willing to read anything. I'm really open about it. And I hope I fulfilled your request, Sparks, by talking about a whole bunch of stories I like. Um, I also, <laughs> that letter I was going to write you, um, I started it out for it being Christmas, like a Christmassy one, but it totally rotted, so I don't know what will happen, okay? Uh, but I'll eventually send one when I get the gumption to, um, or the energy, or just not being lazy. Alright, 